Welcome back to the channel, Hobby One Kenobi here. Today I begin work on the 148th scale A6A Intruder by Hobby Boss. I begin by removing the cockpit from the sprue and get it cleaned up with cutters, a knife, and sanding sticks. Next I airbrush the gray using my own mix of Tamiya paints. I gathered a few aftermarket items for this set, but neglected to get anything for the cockpit other than resin seats. I thought the details on the kit's control panels would be sufficient, but after painting them up, I still wasn't satisfied with the look. I decided to purchase a set of Quinta 3D decals. Of course, this means removing the finished detail with a blade and sanding sticks. It seems I might be spoiled by the level of detail 3D decals provide, and I don't know if I can ever go back. That said, the kit details were actually quite good and would make an impressive cockpit. Using 3D decals also means that, that I will need to match a few gray sections with the color of the cockpit. I like to mix my paints in glass hexagonal jars from Amazon. This allows me to keep some of the color for future touch-ups. I make sure to write down the ratios of the colors in case I need to mix more paint later. Once I got a color that seemed correct, I airbrushed the cockpit again. Once the paint was dry, I added a coat of Mission Models Gloss to provide a smooth surface for the wash. For the wash, I wanted to make a fairly dark gray color to enhance shadows. I mixed black and white to achieve the right tone. Then I added a heavy amount of turpinoid to thin it. The mixture was placed all over the areas of the cockpit, allowed to dry, then removed with Q-tips, a soft brush, and paper towels. After the oil paints dried, I applied a coat of Mr. Color Clear Flat to prepare for the decals. 3D decals aren't really decals except for the fact that they are secured to backing paper with adhesive and water is used to soak the backing paper and free the decal. A light coat of PVA glue is needed to ensure the decals stay on the model. This is applied with a toothpick or a brush and then the decal is moved into position and then pressed lightly with a Q-tip. Here is the cockpit finished with 3D decals. Adding a darker wash will always darken the overall appearance of the base color, and I knew at this point that I would still need to darken the gray patches on the 3D decals to match the colors. I do this by mixing artist oils. Care is taken to find just the right color. Then it is lightly scuffed and blended where needed onto the decal.
Next, I decided it was a good time to highlight raised details on the cockpit with oils. To make sure I don't waste time on areas that won't be seen, I added the seats in their positions. Some lighter gray was used to imply wear. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Please feel free to like the video and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.